Hey everyone. Have you ever noticed that on average, Europeans are taller than Asians? It's a pretty intriguing observation, and today we're diving deep into the science, history, and culture behind it. So grab a seat or stand tall if you prefer because it's going to be a fascinating journey. First things first, let's clear up a common misconception when we say Europeans are taller than Asians. We're speaking about average height and statistical trends. There are always exceptions, like the tall Dutch and shorter Southern Europeans, or the Mongolians who break some height stereotypes. So, why does this difference exist? Well, let's kick things off with our ancient ancestors. Evolutionary adaptations play a crucial role. In colder climates, like those found across Europe, having a larger body size and greater height helps with retaining heat. It's what scientists call Bergman's rule. Mammals in colder environments tend to have larger body masses. In contrast, smaller body sizes help people in hotter regions cool down more efficiently. Imagine your body like a heat engine. The taller you are, the more efficient you are at conserving heat. Shorter folks, on the other hand, release heat more easily. Cool, right? Another huge factor is nutrition. Historically, European countries, especially in the past few centuries, have had better access to high-protein diets than dairy, meat, and plenty of calcium-rich foods. This diet has been crucial for bone growth and height. Meanwhile, in many Asian countries, traditional diets have often been lower in protein, relying more on grains like rice. While still nutritious, it doesn't pack the same punch for height development. Of course, times are changing, and diets are evolving globally. But these historical trends have had a big impact. Now, let's geek out a little with genetics. Height is highly heritable, meaning a lot of it is passed down through your DNA. European populations have a higher frequency of height-promoting genes. However, here's where things get wild. Environmental factors like nutrition and lifestyle can influence these genes. Epigenetics studies how external factors can switch certain genes on or off. So, better access to nutrition or healthcare over generations can make a big difference. In Asia, rapid modernization and improved nutrition are making newer generations taller compared to their grandparents. Another interesting element is lifestyle. In Europe, sports and physical activities are emphasized in many cultures. In some parts of Asia, historical emphasis on academics meant less focus on sports. While this is changing, it's another piece of the puzzle. More physical activity during developmental years can stimulate growth hormones, giving kids a better chance to reach their height potential. Lastly, we can't forget about socioeconomic factors. Wealthier societies tend to have better healthcare, nutrition, and living conditions. Europe has had an economic head start in many areas, contributing to a taller average height. But as Asia continues to grow economically, we're seeing height trends catching up in many places. So, in the end, the height difference is a mix of evolution, diet, genetics, and lifestyle. And as our world continues to globalize, who knows, we might see these averages changing even more.